Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Gemini, let's have a look at your cards for the week starting the 7th of November. And from the Teacup Tarot, your overall energy here is the Justice card. It's card number eight. And this asks you to move forward with the qualities of honesty, integrity, fairness and wisdom. Allow your moral compass to lead the way. Very much in energy of you doing what you know is the right thing to do and embracing those qualities of integrity, fairness and honesty. Your help or your hurdle in steps the Queen of Wands. Now the Queens are all authority figures in the deck. And the Queen of Wands is very confident. She can manifest anything she needs. Just like that. And that's what she's doing on the card here. Look, she just manifested a teapot full of tea and a cake. Just like that. While she's reading a book, she knows she can do it. She's learned how to do it. She's confident. And most importantly, she has the self-confidence and the self-belief that she needs to manifest just what it is that she needs. So a focus here for you on self-confidence, self-belief, doing what you know is the right thing to do and knowing that you can do it. Your guidance comes in the shape of the two of teacups. Now, this is about discussions. This is about conversations. And most importantly, it's about having an absolutely clear understanding of the other person. So conversations are not just about talking, they're about listening as well. So it's really important this week that in your dealings with other people, you clearly understand them and they clearly understand you. How can we help ourselves? Card 12, Awakening, comes in. And this asks you to look at things from a different perspective. Look at things from a positive perspective. It also reminds you to be wonderful, individual you. Everybody else is taken. Don't try to be anybody else. So a real look at perspective this week, at positive perspective and a different perspective can serve you well. And pulling it all together, we have card zero, the dreamer, the first card in the whole deck. This is about taking a leap of faith. This is about setting off in a new direction. And this is about you opening the doors to new opportunity. This card says you're ready. You've got everything you need, but it's up to you to take that step forward. However tentative, it might mean stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. But if it does, this card says you can do it. The Queen of Wands is bringing you the confidence, the self-assurance and the self-belief to push those doors of opportunity open and to step through them. And pulling it all together with the outcome card, the Seven of Teacups says this week, make wise and sensible choices. Now it's interesting that it's fallen just under the justice card because this is about using honesty, integrity and fairness. This card, the Seven of Teacups says, choose wisely. Do what the angel has done. She stepped right back, look, and she's looking at every option. Now, most of the teacups have lovely things in, like a bar of chocolate or a halo. 
But there's one down here that has a little grumpy gingerbread man in it. And she doesn't want to choose him. So she's taking her time. She's stepping back and she's making wise choices from a place that is well thought out. And she's looking at every choice before she decides. So just to summarise, doing what you know is right, following the lovely qualities of honesty and integrity, have the confidence and the self-belief to make this move forward. Make sure you are clearly understood and you clearly understand other people in conversation. Look at things from a different perspective and be ready to step out of your comfort zone. Open those doors of new opportunity. Be ready to step through them and do so after you have thought it all through. You've looked at all your options and you have made wise and sensible choices. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Ten of Life comes in and says this is about quality family time, appreciating the little things. This is about financial security. This is about quality time with loved ones and peace of mind. The 15 of Wisdom says it's time to let go of any old fears. Don't let any old doubts or self-sabotage hold you back. It's time for you to step forward with confidence. That's just what the Queen of Wands is bringing here for you. And it's lovely that this 15 of Wisdom has come in right next to it as another gentle reminder. Have the confidence, have the self-belief. The Eight of Emotions says it's time for you to make that positive move forward now towards something good. Time for you to get moving in that new direction. The 19 of Wisdom card, it's the Sun card in traditional tarot. This is about success. It's about happiness and joy. And it reminds you to act on those brilliant new ideas. The 17 of Wisdom <clears throat> is the equivalent of the Star card in the tarot. That's lovely. You've got the Sun and the Star. This is about positive outcomes. It's lovely. It's fallen next to the new opportunity card. This can be very successful for you. This is positive outcomes, receiving credit for your achievements. It's you making a wish and following your dreams. Success is right here and recognition for you. And the final outcome card is the five of life. Now, here's some mindfulness to go along with all of this. This says stay positive, focus on what you do have and ask for any help if you need it. Now, the angel on the card here is so focused on the empty biscuit tin, she hasn't realised she's got a full one in her other hand. All she has to do is turn around, there it is. So you need to get your focus in a positive place. You need to understand that you've got the resources that you need. Ask for help if you need it. If you're unsure about anything, help is there. It's there for the asking. So looking at the reading overall, very much a week where you're asked to make wise, sensible choices and follow your moral compass. Have self-confidence, have that self-belief and know that you can make these steps forward to something good and that success and positive outcomes are here for you. Don't let any old fears and negativity hold you back. Choose wisely and ask for help if you need to because the success is here. It's waiting for you. Just take the mindfulness steps to get you there. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.